This is Brian with the Quarterback Film Room. Beginning today and extending until the start of training camp throughout the dog days of summer, we're going to preview and overview each team's quarterback room in the league. First on the list, the Minnesota Vikings. Their room consists of Sam Bradford, Teddy Bridgewater, Taylor Heineke, Case Keenum, and Wes Lunt, a rookie undrafted free agent, priority guy out of the University of Illinois. So as we take a look at Sam Bradford, he returns as the unquestioned starter heading into 2017. Bradford completed 71% of his passes last season. And really, really remarkable job. I think about it, all things considered, he asserted himself as a leader in that attack and continually made plays, gave his wide receivers a chance to make plays all through the year. He had a few untimely interceptions against the Lions and against the Redskins that ultimately cost the Vikings ball games. But all in all, he played really, really well. So he's the unquestioned starter heading into year two, playing under Pat Shermer, a coach who he has familiarity with dating back to his days as a Ram when Shermer was the offensive coordinator. So look for Bradford to be more comfortable in 2017 executing the offense that Pat Shermer wants to employ. It's a West Coast-based offense, but the Vikings have added a lot of talent to surround Sam at the wide receiver position, at the running back position, both through free agency and the draft. They signed Michael Floyd to bolster their wide receiving corpse. They re-signed Adam Thielen. Obviously, they have Stefan Diggs. And then they're really, really banking on second-year pro Laquan Treadwell to have, quote-unquote, a breakout season. All things considered, on paper, Sam Bradford looks as if he should pick up where he left off last year and continue to make plays for the Vikings. Behind Sam, obviously, we have Teddy Bridgewater. He suffered that gruesome injury last season in early September, and obviously he was shut down immediately after he hurt his knee. But Teddy's been rehabilitating very, very well. There's been some footage of Bridgewater dropping back, his arm looks as live as it's ever looked. Um, but of course, this is in a structured, controlled environment, and he's not yet at 100%. So it'll be interesting to see if Teddy makes the 53-man roster, because if he does, that would give him the green light to be a full go, one would think. Look for Teddy to sit out this year as well. So that's what I'm thinking is going to take place that Teddy is going to be stashed on either IR and not be on the 53-man roster, but he is positioning himself through his hard work after the injury, and his arm, like I said, looks very, very live and well to make a run to potentially start somewhere, if not Minnesota, in 2018 and beyond. That's where Bridgewater sits as of June 13th. Now, again, that could change as there's about six weeks until the start of training camp. Behind Teddy, we've got Case Keenum. So he's a free agent acquisition that Rick Spillman handpicked. He started at the quarterback position for the Los Angeles Rams last year, a little bit in 2015 as well, and then he has some history with the Houston Texans. So Case Keenum's a guy, he's undersized, and he has a limited physical skill set. He's about six foot tall, 210 pounds, but he's a pocket passer at heart. The problem is he's only six foot tall. He has things like anticipation, touch, timing, those things, um, and then even ball placement that can make him a fill-in starter when need be. So they feel pretty good about Case Keenan competing for the number two job with third-year pro Taylor Heineke, a guy who they're really high on, a guy who they kept last year even after he kicked through a friend's glass apartment window, and he was essentially out for all of training camp September and October. So Heineke returns. He's in a full-fledged battle for the number two job with Case Keenum right now. Heineke is a guy who has a certain substance about him. He has an it quality that the Vikings like and that he's shown on tape. So he's shorter in stature, but he's athletic, and he's had a pretty good delivery as well. So look for Heineke and Keenum to be a key battle throughout the preseason. Behind those two is the undrafted guy, Wes Lund. Essentially what he is, is he is what Joel Stave was last year for this squad. Joel Stave was a North Turner guy. Wes Lund looks like he is a Mike Zimmer, Rick Spielman, Pat Shermer, handpicked undrafted rookie free agent out of Illinois. He's a taller kid. He's got a decent arm, but he is a little bit raw in terms of his footwork. 
and taking snaps from under center. But he's a guy who's got some potential. Look for Wessel to not make the 53-man roster, but the Vikings will look to stash him on their practice squad.